Hey YouTubers, I'm back again. Uh, this is a little second little part of this video. I've already taken this apart. I just pretty much want to see what's inside of it. Um, and look up some chip numbers, things like that. Uh, there's only a couple screws that hold the top on. They're just two screws. So I went ahead and popped that off. And then there's four screws that hold the actual circuit board into the base. Alright, that's all there is to take it apart. Alright, this is what's inside of it. Not really a whole lot. Um, there's two 14-pin uh, IC chips there. The top one here is a 324LM324. It's a comparator, quad comparator. So there's basically four comparators inside of it. This bottom chip here, <clears throat> I looked it up as well. Let's see if we can find it again. There it is. And all it is is a Schmidt trigger. Um, it's pretty simple. It just turns things on and off. They're like little switches. And those little switches in turn turn MOSFETs and stuff on. So I looked at those. That's all that is. There's a couple uh, adjustable resistors here. I don't know what they re adjust yet. I don't know if they're adjusting output voltage. If they're uh, adjusting trigger voltage, you know, where this charges up your batteries to a certain point and stops. <clears throat> so I don't know what those do. I might look this board up and see if there's more information on the board to see what those do. Because manual doesn't have anything in here for adjusting anything. So obviously everything's already preset. Um, don't tell you anything at all about this circuit. <clears throat> so I'm pretty sure everything's already preset and we'll learn more on this circuit as well uh... there's three status leds on there and that basically tells you what your battery load is on or how, how charged up your battery is uh... you got your charge so if your batteries are charging your charge light will be on if you have a load on there and you're operating your load you have your load on there uh, I would assume the load automatically operates unless it charges up and it turns your load on because I don't see anything there's no switches or anything in here for turning your load on and off so something must be automatic I'm guessing uh, your load turns off if you don't have any batteries so that could be a possibility it could be a because there's three actual transistors back there they're not MOSFETs so I looked those up as well and all they are is inter international rectifiers I mean that's all it is it says it's a hex fit power MOSFET uh, VDSS is 55 volts uh, eight, for the resistance for, from drain to source is 8.0 mega ohms and 110 amps is what they're supposed to be able to be capable of powering now you do some math 24 volts you always want to look stuff up like this and see actual wattage those can use each one of them is 200 watts that's what we looked up here so if you're running a 24 volt system it's about 8 amps so it won't be an actual 110 amps like they have on here if you used 110 amps you definitely would fry that <clears throat> unless you're running at 1 volt maybe you can get 110 amps out of it but um, you always want to look look for the wattage of your MOSFETs, and there's three of those in there. I think there's there's three of them for each different source. I think one of them turns your solar panels off, on off. The other one keeps your batteries charging on off, and then one's your output. So <clears throat> this is rough. It says it's a 10 amp controller. So I, mean, I guess if you wanted to, you can change that. I mean, change your MOSFETs, and you can make this whatever size controller you want. Um, there ain't really much to it. Uh, there is a uh, optocoupler over there. Well, there's some shitey looking stuff on here. Looks like they didn't clean it all off. Uh, you won't be able to see it on there. But I just noticed just now that there's a small piece of wire from where they clip it off. They didn't even clean the circuit board off. I mean, it is Chinese made, but hey, oh well, right? 
There's that little thing. It's a good thing I seen it now before I powered it up. Otherwise, I probably would have shorted it out because it was contacting two pins. There's the diode and R11. It was, you know, shorting across those two pins, and they're actually the pins are actually separated back in the back, so there's no continuity between the two. So this could have been fried right out of the box if I had powered it up. But other than that, um, on here looks like positive is continuous throughout the whole circuit. So the positive of your solar panel battery and your load, same contact. Uh, the only thing it's switched on here is your negative side of it. So your solar panel negative comes in and it's controlled through your first MOSFET there it comes in first side of it it's all right guys I'm back phone rang uh, I pretty much showed you everything I can think of on here I mean three MOSFETs each one for each input output um, solar panels on this side it has its own MOSFET battery has its own MOSFET as well and so does the power output and also the weird fuse I don't know what kind of square fuse that is I guess I can look that up those are kind of weird I guess it's a 10 amp fuse hmm at least that's what I would have put on there is a little small fuse I mean it's got the sockets for as if you would put a fuse in here but it's got that little bladed piece there but that's pretty much it guys um, I'm gonna put her back together and see how she works and I'll talk to you guys later uh, please comment subscribe uh, leave any video if you want to I guess you can leave a video response if you like um, and I'll see you guys on the flip side uh, here in a couple weeks, maybe in a couple days, if I get it in the mail, I should have a another video camera coming in the mail. Uh, not for this type of stuff, but uh, for security cameras. And I will do an unboxing and review on that as well, and showing you how to operate it. Uh, until then, you can look at some of these other videos that I have. You know, take a look at those. They'll be up here on your screen. I have other unboxing video reviews and things like that. There's ceiling fans, things like that. And you can look at those videos as well. Talk to you guys later. Bye.